Hello, my name is Vincent Lequen. I'm a PhD student between EDF, the French Electricity Company, and the CNAM, supervised by Professor Nicolato. I'm glad to present our work on solar irradiance forecasting with fisheye images at the CVPR OmniCV workshop. Photovoltaic power generation is a promising source of renewable energy with steady growth. However, its intermittent nature is still a challenge for its integration at scale in the electricity grid. Accurate solar energy forecasts are thus crucial. We present here the different tools for producing solar energy forecasts with respect to the forecasting horizon. For days ahead and longer horizons, we traditionally rely on weather forecasts and historical models. For intraday, satellite images are used and more recently, for very short term horizon and at a local scale, a lot of work are focused on fisheye images pointed towards the sky to extrapolate the future cloud motion. EDF has conducted a meteorological campaign on La Réunion Island. Fisheye images have collected images every 10 seconds. At the same time, pyranometers have measured the components of solar irradiance. The dataset collected consists in several millions images labeled by the solar irradiance. The machine learning problem here consists in estimating and forecasting solar irradiance based on cameras only, since cameras are much cheaper than high-grade pyranometers. The traditional forecasting method at EDF consists in the following steps. First, fisheye cameras calibration with calibration patterns and the Ocam Calib toolbox. Second, projection of the hemispherical images on a plane at a given altitude. Then we compute the optical flow between two images to get the cloud motion. And finally, we compute the future image by warping this motion into the future. The future irradiance is obtained with the segmentation method on the image and standard machine learning techniques. In this context, deep learning is an appealing solution for learning directly from large datasets of raw fisheye images. Previous works have shown that deep neural networks can achieve promising results for both the irradiance estimation and the irradiance forecasting task with ConvLSTN. Still, Extrapolating cloud motion is a very hard weather forecasting problem. In this work, we incorporate prior physical knowledge on the cloud motion to regularize deep neural networks. Our model for solar energy forecasting is based on a deep video prediction model that incorporates physical knowledge. We present this FeedNet model at the CBPR conference. The main idea is to leverage physical dynamics with learned partial differential equations. But since physics is often insufficient to fully describe generic videos, as in this moving MNIST example, we learned a data-driven residual branch responsible for capturing complementary information. In this example, physics captures coarse moving segmentation masks and the residual captures the fine appearance of digits. FeedNet is a two-branch architecture that disentangles physical from residual dynamics in latent space. Physics is learned with a recurrent neural network cell called FISL, whereas the complement is learned by a data-driven ConvLSTM. When unfolded in time, this forms a sequence-to-sequence -sequence architecture for video prediction. The physical cell is called FISL. It is an atomic cell for building physically constrained prediction. FISL learns PDE dynamics in latent space with uh, differential operators approximated with convolutions. FISL follows a two step scheme. First, an earlier physical prediction step in latent space, and second, a correction step with input images. This scheme can be seen as a kind of data assimilation technique. Now, we present our contribution to the solar irradiance forecasting problem. We propose FeedNet Dual. It is a slightly improved version of FeedNet 
with specific encoders and decoders for both branches. We use this model to encode a sequence of fisheye images up to tide t into a context vector c. This context ve vector summarizes all the previous seconds of images. We then plug a CNN to predict the 5 minute ahead future fisheye image and a MLP for the future irradiance value. We obtain better results with when predicting jointly the future image and the irradiance than the irradiance only due to the improved supervision. We show here qualitative results on the left figure with a 5 minute prediction on a particular day. We, we can see that our model accurately predicts the sharp variation of irradiance on time. And then on the right, you can see the table that show qualitative quantitative results with respect to competitive baselines, uh, a Convel STM, a PRED RNN, and FeedNet. We see that our FeedNet dual model, which is the best performances uh, with respect to all baselines, both in terms of image prediction and in terms of irradiance prediction. We also see uh, here some qualitative video prediction results. The model takes five minutes of best images and predicts the five, the, the five following images. Uh, we can see that uh, this problem is very challenging because in five minutes there is a large cloud motion. The two clouds that are depicted in blue and green are moving closer and then finally merging in the, into the yellow cloud. And even if the feednet dual predictions are a little bit blurry, we observe that the model uh, is able to predict this behavior. So the, it confirms the benefit of a particularly constrained prediction. And here, we can also we can also see that the the, the feednet dual model predicts much sharper images than the baseline conf LST. As perspective uh, uh, after this work, um, we could use, for example, more specific physical models by uh, modeling more finely the physical uh, atmospherical phenomena. Uh, extension to probabilistic forecasting could also be useful. To for assisting electricity grid manager with uncertainty estimates. And finally, a future direction is to consider the cooperation between the network or fisheye cameras over a small territory. Thank you for your attention.